So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P1450 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P1450 code? Well, it's unable to bleed up fuel tank vacuum. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off. And in order to work properly, it needs to have a vacuum. And the onboard computer seen a problem with this. So it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad gas cap, could be a purge valve, could be the vent valve, could be the charcoal canister, could be in the wiring, could be an EVAP leak, and possibly the fuel tank pressure sensor. And so the basics of what's going on inside of an EVAP system is you're gonna have a hose that's gonna leave the gas tank and the gas vapors are gonna come up and around, are gonna go to what's called a charcoal canister. This is basically like stores the gas vapors when the engine's not running. It also has what's called a vapor vent valve solenoid. And this does different things. The onboard computer uses that to test the system and things like this and then the hose is going to leave it's going to go up to the top of the engine and there's going to be what's called a vapor purge valve solenoid and that basically opens when the engine's running so all the gas vapors go in to the engine to get burnt off and then it closes when the engine's not running so it doesn't escape and there's also a fuel tank pressure sensor somewhere inside of the system that reports back to the onboard computer what's going on and so when you get this code the first thing to go and check is going to be the gas cap while it might be good it's a good idea to go and check it just look at it be sure it's not broken it's not damaged or anything like that because because the whole system needs a seal and the gas cap is a part of that so it needs to seal up so everything can go into a vacuum so go check the gas cap be sure that looks good the next thing to go and check is going to be the purge valve that's located up inside the engine compartment somewhere it can vary a little bit on, on where exactly they're located up there for example here's a 2013 ford focus and it's up on the right hand side it'll have two hoses going to it and a wiring harness here's another example of a 2016 ford focus and it's up behind the throttle body so it can vary a little bit on exactly where it's located but there'll be a purge valve up there and one hose will be going back to the charcoal canister and one hose will be going to the engine and then you're going to have a wiring harness that's connected to it and so the next thing to go and do is going to be to test this purge valve i made a video on how you go about testing these if you want to i'll put a link down below if you want to test that but the next thing to do is go test or replace the purge valve and if you go through and you check that out the gas cap looks good the vapor purge valve looks good then the next thing to go and check out is going to be this charcoal canister and this vapor vent valve be sure everything's working correctly the vapor Vapor charcoal canister is going to be located up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. Again, it can vary, but you'll have a couple hoses going to it. And the vent valve is usually located on the charcoal canister, although they can be separate sometimes. It's usually located on the charcoal canister. And then you're going to have some hoses going to it and some wiring harness going to it. But the next thing to do is go check out this vapor canister and be sure everything's working good. There's different ways you go about testing that vent valve to be sure it's opening and closing and, and, and be sure everything looks like it's connected. Be sure nothing's damaged or anything like that but the next thing to do is to go check out this vapor charcoal canister and so if you got through and you checked all that out and all that looks good then the next things to check out is going to be either for an evap leak in one of all these hoses or possibly the fuel tank pressure sensor it's very possible that one of these hoses has a leak somewhere inside of the system and so what would happen if you took it to a mechanic what they would do is they'd use a smoke machine and they feed it into the evap system and wherever the smoke comes out they would know where the leaks at and they'd be able to fix it there's some low-cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also make these up. There's like YouTube videos on how you can make these up for like five, ten dollars. But the next thing to go and do is to be to go around to all these hoses and be sure none of them are leaking because any leaks is going to cause issues inside of the EVAP system. And then the last thing is going to be this fuel tank pressure sensor. And the fuel tank pressure sensor is what reports back to the onboard computer what's going on inside the system. So if that fuel tank pressure sensor goes bad, then there might not be a problem inside the system, but the onboard computer thinks there is since the sensor is giving a bad data and again this could be located differently sometimes it's up on top of the gas tank sometimes it's on the fuel pump sometimes it's near the fuel pump on one of the lines so again it's going to vary but the next thing to go and check is going to be that fuel tank pressure sensor and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a ford with the p1450 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day